Hi guys, this is a video on Windows tips. This time I'm talking about automating tasks on your computer. So if you leave your computer on 24-7, um, these are things that you can do to have Windows automatically do while you're away from your computer or while you're sleeping or something like that. So we need to first get into schedule tasks. So we go start, control panel, and you'll notice that scheduled tasks is here. And I think Windows Vista uses their scheduled task thing acts very differently so I'm not sure how you do I think you just run a search in the uh, start menu for scheduled tasks so I think you then say create task instead of add scheduled task but either way we're going to be doing the following things we're going to start with alarm clock so you can turn your PC into a basic alarm clock so all you have to do is add a scheduled task next um, we're then going to browse and you can have it open a music file so if I go into my music and oh, I don't know, choose that that one. Um, perform it daily at seven o'clock in the morning. So what it will do is it will open this file in the default player and start to play it at seven o'clock every day. It's going to ask for a password. So this is an alarm clock, and uh, we're not going to open advanced properties. So that is an alarm. We're going to just rename this to alarm, and then you can run it to make sure it works. So this is what happens at seven o'clock in the morning. It opens up and opens up an iTunes, which is my default player, so that works. Uh, next one to do is an automatic shutdown. Um, again, add schedule task. Next, uh, you can choose anything this time. You could say daily at, I don't know, 23, so 11 o'clock at night, we're going to choose for it to shut down every day. Again, we'll ask for a password. I think there's a tweak to use it. If you don't have a password for your Windows computer, um, you can tweak it or it will be your Windows password and opening advanced properties this time and just remove everything in this and we're going to say um, shutdown.exe hyphen s hyphen t double o and that says shut down the computer um, uh, with the timer of naught so we then take out the start in and we say run only if logged on so uh, you can apply this to anyone actually, I, I'm not sure if it matters or not, but I'm going to take it anyway. So that's now modified it to shut down, so we're going to rename this to shut down. I'm not going to double click it, otherwise you won't see me anymore. Um, defrag, uh, Windows got a built in defragmenter, we can just use this uh, automatically if you don't want to bother going out and finding a uh, another one that does it, like a program that does it. So we're actually going to navigate to C, Windows, and then System32. You can click on the first folder and then actually, um, sorry, while you're in here and it's selected, type in defrag, and you'll notice that it's automatically found defrag for me. So you say open it, and we're just going to say defrag. I've uh, performed this monthly because I don't want it running that much at, I don't know, 12 o'clock at night and on the first Monday of the month or something. Next, and then put my password in. Once this is done, you then want um, to go into the properties properties of it, and we want to, on the end, say the draw, uh, slash F to begin with, which means it will force it to do a defrag um, on your drive, even if you're low on space, and then the drive you want to do, which for me is drive C, which is the main drive for me, so that's everything else is fine. It will ask me for my password again. And we OK that. And next one is Crap Cleaner. Now, with Crap Cleaner, you'll notice in the options it says Command Line Premise Auto runs the cleaner upon loading and then closes the application. Now, in the cleaner part of it, you have applications here and windows here, and it will clean out several things that you select. So you can unselect these and if you say run cleaner it will clean everything out so you can get this to run the C cleaner automatically with a scheduled task so what we're going to do is we're going to say new scheduled task next we're going to find crap cleaner so it's in C program files C cleaner C cleaner .exe. call it call it clean crap form it daily uh, at 19 o'clock 1927 is fine next enter my password again and open the advanced properties so then we say slash auto at the end and it will run now automatically we'll just tick that 
uh, it will run automatically out 1927. So what else have we got? Antivirus scan. Now if you try and do that with a command line switch, you can't actually, well with mine anyway, I'll use Avira anti-VIR and you can't actually launch the application because it's already launched, it's already running and scanning in the background. So um, my virus scanner has actually got its own scheduler and I'm, I'm hoping that yours does as well, but basically you just press next, scan job, next, uh, daily, uh, 528, whatever, next, local drives, and display mode, invisible. So then you don't have to watch it scanning, it will scan in the background. So you finish that, and then that is done. Or unactivate that and then delete it just to this was just to show you that you can do it inside your antivirus program well hopefully um, please let me know in a comment if it works in say AVG or Avast or um, Nero, uh, not Nero, uh, Norton or anything so spyware scan and remove uh, there's a program if you I've tried to do this in Adware and it's not possible without having the professional version so if you use spybot search and destroy um, which we're now looking for uh, there is a program, I believe, which is called Spybot SD, I think, or something. SD. Um, you actually have to type the file name in because for some reason it doesn't appear here. But yeah, Spybot SD, and open it. And it's type a name for this task. We're going to say scan spyware. Perhaps there's a hidden thing or something. And we're going to do it daily at, say, I don't know. 1 o'clock in the afternoon, next, type the password in, next step, and we're going to open the advanced properties, and then at the end of this, we're going to say, slash auto scan, slash auto fix, and then slash auto close, and that will scan it, fix it, and close it, so we'll just check that this works, again I'll go into my password, just going to check it works by running it, and you'll notice it's now loading Spot Search and Destroy and it's running a check. So we'll stop that. That might take a while to stop. So the last one we're going to do is backing up my documents. So if you have my documents here, um, what I'll do is I'll make a back back oh, I think I've already done it, make a backup folder on the C drive. I'll make another one then. because uh, I've tried this previously. Uh, backup to uh, backup to. So I'm gonna back up my documents every night to um, my C drive, or you can put it as an uh, external drive or whatever. So we're going to choose anything next and uh, call it anything. We'll just we'll, we'll say backup documents daily at 19:30 every day. Next, and it's the password just again. And uh, open advanced properties. And instead of doing this bit, we're going to take these out again. We're going to say X copy, and then we're going to say slash E, which means everything in the folder in my documents, including this sub documents, documents inside doc, um, folders inside my documents, what I'm trying to say. And then slash Y, so it overwrites, if you're doing this every day, it will overwrite with newer versions uh, that you have in my documents in your backup folder. We're going to say the source, which is going to be the location of my documents. So you can say right click and then properties and copy this target folder thing here and we're going to put it in, in quotes so it will load it better and then we're going to say the resulting file will be C and backup 2 so that it's going to go from my documents to backup 2 so we press OK type our password in and just to make sure it works we'll run it so that's the icon change, we're going to run it and you'll notice that it's now copying all my folders, uh, all the files in my documents to backup to, and I'll just double check that that works by saying C backup to, and here is all my files. So this is a quick way to do it. Um, you can cancel it obviously because it will have a DOS box come up, but um, be careful because it might take quite a long time to backup documents if you've got large files. So these are various things you can do on your computer. Um, I hope it helps. If there's anything else that you suggest that can be done automatically, then uh, let everybody know, make a comment. Uh, please rate the video and please subscribe. Thanks for watching.